gather around science enthusiasts. Welcome back to Sci Sips, your one-stop channel for all things fascinating and educational. We're back with our fifth installment of the Binge Watch series, your ticket to an hour-long journey through the thrilling world of science. From rogue waves to quantum effects, we've compiled a potpourri of exciting topics for a seamless edutainment experience. So grab your cup of curiosity and let's navigate this knowledge expedition together. Stay tuned as we dive into the realm of science, where every discovery is a step towards the future. Today, we'll be riding the rogue, exploring the science behind British Columbia's record-breaking waves. Next, we'll delve into a groundbreaking discovery that could shake the foundations of science as we know it, how light can make water evaporate. We'll then take a celestial detour to investigate why Saturn's iconic rings are disappearing. Onwards, we'll discover anastrozole, the promising new dawn in cancer prevention. Get ready for a future forecast as we discuss the jobs AI will create. We'll also draw back the curtain on PMS, exploring the hormonal roller coaster that many experience. Our journey continues with Vaxplosion, a mind blowing saga tracing the epic journey of vaccines from their origins to modernity. We'll take a historical dive into Napoleon's biggest mistakes and enduring legacy. Our adventure concludes with quantum effects and chemical reactions, and the intriguing concept of nuking an asteroid. Prepare to quench your thirst for knowledge with these intriguing subjects. Until next time, keep sipping on science. Have you ever heard of a rogue wave? A towering wall of water that appears out of nowhere, dwarfing all waves around it and posing significant danger to ships, offshore platforms and coastal areas. Until recently, these waves were nothing more than seafaring folklore. But in 1995, the first rogue wave was documented, bringing them crashing into reality. Fast forward to November 2020. Off the coast of British Columbia, the most extreme rogue wave ever recorded occurred, lifting a buoy to an astounding height of 17.6 meters. The wave was so out of proportion that it was nearly three times the size of its surrounding counterparts. Rogue waves, as scientists define them, are any waves more than twice the height of the waves surrounding them. This wave, however, took rogue to a whole new level. This monumental wave was only confirmed as the most extreme rogue wave ever recorded in February 2022, nearly two years after its occurrence. The boy that captured this wave was part of a research project by Marine Labs, dedicated to understanding and predicting these unpredictable ocean phenomena. The rogue wave off the coast of British Columbia is a stark reminder that our oceans hold untold mysteries and immense power. It's a testament to the unpredictable nature of our world and the challenges it presents to marine operations. But as we delve deeper into the 21st century, we're not just at the mercy of these rogue waves. Technology, particularly artificial intelligence, is helping us predict and understand these monstrous waves better. Recent AI analysis has shown that these waves exceeding 25 meters in height occur more frequently than previously believed. Approximately one monster wave occurs every day in random places across the ocean. To recap, rogue waves, once considered a myth, are now a documented reality. The most extreme rogue wave ever recorded occurred off the coast of British Columbia in November 2020, standing nearly three times the size of its peers. Technology, especially AI, is helping us understand and predict these waves better, potentially saving lives and mitigating risks to marine operations. Don't forget to give a massive like and subscribe to the Psy Sips channel. Have you ever wondered what would happen if light could make water evaporate without heat? You see, traditionally, we've understood evaporation as a process intrinsically tied to heat. The hotter it gets, the quicker water transforms into vapor, right? But what if we introduced another catalyst into the equation, light? Now, before you dismiss the idea as fantastical, consider this. In a recent breakthrough, scientists at MIT have discovered something extraordinary about the relationship between light and water. In a surprising turn of events, researchers found out that under certain conditions, light can directly cause water to evaporate, sidestepping the need for heat entirely. Now, let's break this down in simpler terms. Imagine you have a droplet of water encased in a sponge-like material known as hydrogel. Now, instead of applying heat to this droplet to make it evaporate, scientists illuminated it. What happened next was truly remarkable. The water droplet began to evaporate, purely under the influence of light. 
This breakthrough has far-reaching implications. For instance, it could significantly alter our understanding and modeling of Earth's climate. Think about fog and clouds, which are essentially condensed water vapor. Understanding how light interacts with water could give us a fresh perspective on how these atmospheric phenomena form and evolve. On an industrial level, this discovery could revolutionize processes such as solar-powered desalination, where seawater is turned into fresh water. Imagine harnessing the power of light to evaporate water without the need for energy-intensive heating. The researchers have named this effect the photomolecular effect and are currently exploring its potential applications. So why does this matter to us, you might wonder? Well, the discovery of light causing evaporation without heat otherwise known as the photomolecular effect, holds significant implications. In the realm of climate science, it could alter our models, providing us with more accurate predictions and a better understanding of our world. Industrial processes too could be revolutionized. Imagine solar-powered desalination providing an essential resource through harnessing the power of light. Even our understanding of natural phenomena, like the formation and evolution of fog and clouds, could be transformed. This discovery not only challenges our understanding of the nature of light and water, but also paves the way for potential breakthroughs in the future. If you're as captivated by this discovery as we are, and you want to dive deeper into the fascinating world of science, then we have a simple call to action for you. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, SciSips. We're constantly exploring and breaking down complex scientific phenomena into digestible content. The cosmos, a boundless expanse, a swirling dance of stars, galaxies and celestial bodies. It is a testament to the grandeur of existence itself, a realm so vast it eludes the grasp of human comprehension, a spectacle of mystery and majesty that never ceases to captivate. Amidst this cosmic tapestry exists a unique ensemble of planets, each with their own intriguing tales. One such celestial body, the sixth from the Sun, is the gas giant Saturn, known for its distinct feature, a dazzling array of rings. Saturn continues to enchant observers and scientists alike. In this celestial ballet, one performer stands out with its majestic rings, the planet Saturn. Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in our solar system, is a gas giant primarily composed of hydrogen and helium. This celestial body isn't just known for its colossal size, but also for its most distinguishing feature, the rings. These rings are a spectacle to behold, composed of countless small particles, most of which are ice. They're like a grand cosmic ballet, with each particle dancing in independent orbits around Saturn. Yet these rings are not a solitary act. Saturn is accompanied by a retinue of at least 145 moons, each playing its part in the cosmic dance. One moon in particular, Titan, is noted for its substantial atmosphere. These moons cast a significant influence on the rings, giving them their unique structure and appearance. Despite their width, these rings are incredibly thin, almost like a cosmic razor's edge. And even though they appear solid from afar, they consist of particles in independent orbits around Saturn. This delicate balance of ice and space dust is a testament to the complexities and wonders of our universe. In a surprising turn of celestial events, Saturn's rings, a symbol of its identity, are gradually disintegrating. This iconic symbol of the cosmos, first observed by Galileo Galilei in the early 17th century, is forecasted to undergo an extraordinary transformation. Come 2025, these magnificent rings will align edge-on with our home planet, becoming virtually invisible to the naked eye. A celestial spectacle indeed, but fret not for this is but a temporary phenomenon in the grand scheme of cosmic time. As Saturn continues its celestial dance around the Sun, it will tilt again. And in the year 2032, the rings we've come to admire will re-emerge, revealing themselves once again in their full icy splendor. This upcoming vanishing act serves as a stark reminder of the ever-evolving nature of our universe. As we anticipate this cosmic vanishing act, we are reminded of the ever-evolving nature of our universe. As we marvel at Saturn's rings, set to disappear and reappear in a cosmic dance of celestial mechanics, we are reminded of our place in the universe. Our existence in the face of the cosmos's grandeur can seem insignificant. We are but momentary occupants of a tiny blue dot, lost amongst the astronomical spectacle of galaxies, stars and celestial bodies like Saturn. 
Yet, it is our curiosity, our desire to understand and explore these celestial wonders that make us significant. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, we are but a fleeting moment, a transient speck on the cosmic canvas, dwarfed by the majesty of planets like Saturn and the incomprehensible vastness of the Milky Way. If you're as captivated by this discovery as we are, and you want to dive deeper into the fascinating world of science, then we have a simple call to action for you. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, SciSips. We're constantly exploring and breaking down complex scientific phenomena into digestible content. A remarkable breakthrough has transformed the landscape of cancer prevention. This revolution, a beacon of light in an often daunting field, is the authorization of a preventative treatment named anastrozole in the United Kingdom. A game changer, anastrozole's potential impact is immense, offering a new defense for postmenopausal women at risk of breast cancer. But what exactly is anastrozole, and why is it making waves in the medical community? Anastrozole is an enzyme inhibitor, a type of drug that operates by reducing the amount of estrogen in the body. This hormone is often linked with the development of breast cancer in postmenopausal women. Anastrozole has long been used in the treatment of breast cancer, but what's causing a stir is its new authorization for preventative use. This means it can now be used to lower the risk of breast cancer in postmenopausal women who are at a moderate or high risk of developing the disease. This potent enzyme inhibitor, by lowering estrogen levels, establishes a robust defense line against breast cancer. The journey to anastrozole's authorization is a testament to rigorous scientific research. This journey was underpinned by the IBIS-2 study, a pivotal investigation that revealed a significant reduction in breast cancer cases among postmenopausal women who were administered anastrozole compared to those who took a placebo. The findings of this study were undeniable, bringing a new ray of hope to those at risk. The results of the IBIS-2 study unequivocally showcased anastrozole's efficacy, paving its path to authorization. Anastrozole's authorization in the UK for prevention is more than a scientific breakthrough. It's a beacon of hope. Its potential to reduce cases of breast cancer, especially among postmenopausal women at moderate or high risk, is truly transformative. The journey, however, doesn't end here. Common side effects such as hot flushes, joint pain and nausea are known, but rest assured, the MHRA will continue to monitor its safety and effectiveness. Anastrozole's authorization signifies a powerful stride forward in cancer prevention, promising a future where breast cancer is no longer a dreaded inevitability. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have seen in this video. Remember, your health is of utmost importance. And while Anastrozole's authorization is a promising stride forward, it's crucial to understand that individual medical circumstances may vary. Thank you for tuning in and exploring the world of medical advancements with us. If you found this video informative and helpful, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up. Your likes and comments fuel our motivation to keep producing more content like this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on our future videos. Remember, your health is paramount. Always prioritize it and do not hesitate to seek professional advice when needed. Until our next video, stay safe, stay informed, and most importantly, stay healthy. See you next time. Have you ever wondered what jobs will look like in the future, in a world dominated by artificial intelligence? As we stand on the brink of the fourth industrial revolution, artificial intelligence is rapidly transforming our world, and with it, the nature of work. This powerful technology will not only redefine existing professions, but also create entirely new ones. Professions that we can scarcely imagine today, Professions that will shape our society in profound and exciting ways. So what could these new professions be? Let's dive in. First on our list is the AI Ethics Manager. As artificial intelligence becomes more pervasive, there's a growing need for individuals who can ensure its ethical development and usage. These guardians of AI will prevent potential misuse, uphold privacy, maintain security, and ensure fairness. 
They will be the custodians of our values, navigating the complex ethical landscape that AI brings. Their role in society cannot be understated. The AI ethics manager, ensuring we never lose our humanity in the age of machines. Next up, the AI assisted healthcare provider. As we venture into the future, these professionals will harness the power of artificial intelligence to offer more precise diagnoses and tailored treatments. Imagine a world where patient care is not just efficient, but also deeply personalized. The potential impact on global health is staggering. From early disease detection to personalized therapy plans, AI will play a pivotal role in improving health outcomes worldwide. AI-assisted healthcare provider transforming medicine for the better. Uh, third, we have the Autonomous Vehicle Infrastructure Engineer. These visionaries will craft and sustain the architecture that autonomous vehicles will rely on. Picture a symphony of self-driving cars, buses and lorries, harmonized by the artistry of these engineers. Their work will revolutionize transportation, bolstering safety and transforming city planning. Traffic congestion, road accidents, the very design of our cities, all will be reimagined. Autonomous Vehicle Infrastructure Engineer driving us into a safer future. Fourth, the Virtual Reality Experience Designer. In a world not too far away, these creative visionaries will be sculpting immersive virtual experiences. A blend of artistry and cutting-edge technology, their work will redefine entertainment, revolutionize education, and reshape our working environments. Imagine learning history by living it, or transforming your office into an exotic locale. This profession is not merely about creating games or simulations, but rather crafting new landscapes of experience. Virtual reality experience designer, crafting new realities for us to explore. Fifth, the AI-based personalized education developer. Imagine a world where learning is no longer a one-size-fits-all approach. These developers will harness the power of artificial intelligence to create bespoke learning experiences tailored to individual strengths, weaknesses and interests. The impact? A seismic shift in education with improved learning outcomes and opportunities for truly individualized learning. This isn't just about better grades, but unlocking the full potential of every student. AI-based personalized education developer reshaping education for every learner. Sixth the AI Agricultural Analyst. Picture a world where farming becomes a precise science driven by artificial intelligence. These analysts will harness the power of AI to optimize farming practices, boost crop yields, and promote sustainable agriculture. The potential impacts are immense. Imagine enhanced food security with enough to feed every mouth and a greener planet where agriculture works in harmony with nature rather than against it. AI Agricultural Analyst helping us cultivate a greener future. Lastly, the AI Disaster Prediction Specialist, a profession that harnesses the power of artificial intelligence to outsmart Mother Nature herself. These specialists will employ advanced AI algorithms to predict natural disasters from earthquakes to hurricanes before they even occur. This foresight will revolutionize disaster management, allowing us to prepare and respond with unprecedented efficiency. Our safety and resilience will be greatly enhanced turning once disastrous events into manageable situations. AI disaster prediction specialist predicting the unpredictable to keep us safe. These are just a glimpse of the many jobs that AI could create in the future. From AI ethics managers, ensuring responsible AI deployment to AI assisted healthcare providers, revolutionizing medical care. Autonomous vehicle infrastructure engineers will redefine transport, while virtual reality experience designers craft immersive realities. AI-based personalized education developers will tailor learning experiences. AI agricultural analysts will optimize farming and AI disaster prediction. In the age of AI, the future is not something to fear, but to prepare for. So are you ready for the future? If you're as captivated by this and you want to dive deeper into the fascinating world of science, then we have a simple call to action for you. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, SciSips. We're constantly exploring and breaking down complex scientific phenomena into digestible content. Ever wondered why you experience different feelings every month just before your period? Welcome to the world of PMS. 
PMS, short for premenstrual syndrome, is a collection of symptoms that occur in women typically between ovulation and the start of their menstrual cycle. Now, what causes all these changes? Let's find out. Two key players in this monthly drama are estrogen and progesterone. These hormones fluctuate throughout the menstrual cycle and are the architects of your PMS symptoms. Estrogen is like the gas pedal of your body, revving up your engine, boosting your energy and intensifying feelings. On the other hand, progesterone is like the brakes, slowing things down, promoting relaxation and often causing fatigue. When these two hormones are out of sync, that's when PMS symptoms kick in. For example, a drop in estrogen, the feel-good hormone, can cause headaches and a decrease in serotonin can cause bloating and constipation. So in essence, PMS is not just about discomfort, it's your body responding to the intricate play of hormones. But what is the mechanism behind these hormones? Why do they dictate our feelings? Let's delve into the world of estrogen and progesterone, two crucial actors in our monthly menstrual cycle drama. Estrogen, the high flyer, begins to be secreted after menstruation, stimulating the lining of the uterus to thicken in preparation for potential pregnancy. It's akin to the life of the party, enhancing our vitality and mood. However, if there's no pregnancy, estrogen levels sharply fall, contributing to the onset of premenstrual syndrome, PMS symptoms. Meanwhile, progesterone, the conscientious planner, works in tandem with estrogen, further preparing the body for a potential pregnancy by creating a suitable environment for a fertilized egg in the uterus. It's the hormone that prefers to keep everything in order, much like its counterpart, progesterone levels drop in the absence of pregnancy, a shift that can also induce PMS symptoms. This hormonal ebb and flow can seem like a roller coaster ride, but it's an integral part of a ballet, a delicate dance that our body choreographs every month to ensure the continuity of life. So it's all about the ballet of hormones, a delicate balance that our body choreographs month after month. Does it seem like your PMS symptoms are getting worse? The biological mechanism behind this might be the fluctuating hormone levels in your body. During the menstrual cycle, your body experiences a roller coaster of hormonal changes that can exacerbate PMS symptoms. Estrogen and progesterone, two key hormones, can fluctuate dramatically. In the week before menstruation, estrogen levels drop significantly, which can lead to mood swings, fatigue, and other PMS symptoms. Similarly, Changes in progesterone levels can also contribute to bloating and discomfort, classic PMS complaints. The good news is, understanding the rhythm of your body and these hormonal changes can help you manage PMS effectively. Regular exercise, stress management techniques and healthy food choices can play a significant role in harmonizing your hormonal balance and managing your symptoms. Remember, you're not alone in this. With the right knowledge and a healthy lifestyle, you can navigate through PMS like a pro. Thank you for tuning in and exploring the world of medical advancements with us. If you found this video informative and helpful, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up. Your likes and comments fuel our motivation to keep producing more content like this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on our future videos. Remember, your health is paramount. Always prioritize it and do not hesitate to seek professional advice when needed. Until our next video, stay safe, stay informed, and most importantly, stay healthy. See you next time. Have you ever stopped to ponder the power of vaccines in our lives? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? To fully appreciate the relevance of this query, let's delve into the fascinating world of vaccines. Vaccines, in essence, are a marvel of modern medicine, acting as our body's training course for fighting off vicious invaders. They are the unsung heroes in our ongoing battle against an array of diseases, from the measles to the mumps and even the dreaded polio. These microscopic powerhouses function by introducing a weakened or inactivated form of a disease-causing organism, or antigens, into our body. This encounter prompts our immune system to spring into action, producing a battalion of antibodies tailored to combat this specific invader. The beauty of this process lies in its subtlety. It's a mock battle, a dress rehearsal, if you will, preparing our body for a potential future onslaught. If the real enemy dares to invade, our immune system is primed and ready, recognizing the intruder and swiftly neutralizing it. And it's not just about individual protection. 
Vaccines are the cornerstone of herd immunity, a collective shield protecting even those who are unable to get vaccinated. By reducing the number of susceptible individuals in a community, we can effectively halt the transmission of disease, safeguarding the health of the entire population. But vaccines are not a modern invention. Our ancestors, in their wisdom, had stumbled upon similar concepts. Ancient systems of medicine like Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine recognized the principle of introducing a small dose of the disease to protect against it. It's a testament to the enduring wisdom of our forebears and the timeless relevance of vaccines. So, whether it's the polio drops that children around the world receive, or the annual flu shot that keeps influenza at bay, or the much-discussed COVID-19 vaccines, these tiny vials pack a powerful punch. They are our body's personal trainers, our community's shield, and our world's hope of a healthier tomorrow. So, vaccines are more than just a prick on the arm, they're a lifesaver. To appreciate the marvel of vaccines, we must journey back to their origins. Imagine a world before the comfort of modern medicine, where the threat of disease loomed large and unchallenged. It was in these ancient times that the rudimentary concept of vaccines first took root. In the grand tapestry of history, the Chinese were the first to dabble with the notion of inoculation. They employed a technique known as variolation, a primitive yet surprisingly effective method to protect against smallpox. The process involved grinding up smallpox scabs into a powder and blowing it into the nostrils of healthy individuals or inserting it into a small cut. Rather gruesome by today's standards, wouldn't you say? Yet it held the seed of a profound idea, using the disease itself as a shield against future infections. Fast forward to the tail end of the 18th century, and we find ourselves in England with a country doctor by the name of Edward Jenner. Jenner's contribution to the world of vaccines is legendary, and his story is worth recounting. He observed that milkmaids who had contracted cowpox, a disease similar to but milder than smallpox, seemed immune to the deadly smallpox that ravaged the population. Inspired by this observation, Jenner embarked on an experiment that would change the course of medicine forever. He took pus from a cowpox sore, and using this, he inoculated an eight-year-old boy. The child developed a mild fever, but quickly recovered. Later, when Jenner exposed the boy to smallpox, he remained healthy, proving that the cowpox had protected him. Jenner's smallpox vaccine was a monumental leap forward. It gave birth to the practice of vaccination, a term derived from the Latin vaccinus, meaning of the cow. It was a nod to Jenner's original experiment and the humble bovine that made it possible. Thus, the foundation was laid for what would become a revolution in medical science. The birth of vaccines marked a turning point in our battle against disease, setting the stage for countless breakthroughs in the centuries to follow. From a rudimentary beginning, vaccines underwent an impressive evolution. The 19th and 20th centuries were particularly transformative in this regard, with scientific strides that shaped the very essence of immunization. In the 19th century, the spotlight shone brightly on Louis Pasteur, a French biologist whose relentless curiosity led to significant breakthroughs in the world of vaccines. This period saw him developing the anthrax and rabies vaccines, both of which proved pivotal in controlling these deadly diseases. Pasteur's work was groundbreaking, not only for the vaccines he developed, but also for the methodology he introduced. He pioneered the concept of attenuating or weakening pathogens to stimulate an immune response, a principle that remains at the heart of many modern vaccines. As we moved into the 20th century, the evolution of vaccines continued at a brisk pace. The century was marked by a series of triumphs in the battle against infectious diseases. One of the most significant was the development of the polio vaccine. In the mid-20th century, polio was an epidemic, causing paralysis and even death. The introduction of the polio vaccine, developed by scientists like Jonas Salk and Albert Sabin, brought hope and relief. The oral polio vaccine and the inactivated polio vaccine, both products of their efforts, have been instrumental in the near eradication of polio worldwide. But it wasn't just about individual vaccines. The 20th century also saw the advent of combination vaccines, such as the MMR vaccine, 
which protects against measles, mumps, and rubella. This innovation allowed for the simultaneous administration of multiple vaccines, enhancing efficiency and improving coverage. In essence, the evolution of vaccines was not just about the development of individual vaccines. It was also about the refinement of methods and strategies, the expansion of the scope of diseases that could be prevented, and the enhancement of public health on a global scale. Vaccines were not just evolving, they were transforming the landscape of public health. This transformation remains ongoing with the promise of even more remarkable breakthroughs on the horizon. With the advent of modern biotechnology, the science of vaccines took a quantum leap. The world of vaccines has been transformed thanks to the innovative techniques and cutting-edge technologies that have emerged in the field of biotechnology. One of the most significant developments in this sphere has been the creation of genetically engineered vaccines using recombinant DNA technology. This groundbreaking technology allows scientists to manipulate the genetic code of an organism, altering its DNA to produce a specific protein or antigen. These antigens, when introduced into the body, stimulate the immune system, priming it to fight off future infections. A prime example of this is the hepatitis B vaccine. Hepatitis B, a potentially life-threatening liver infection, was once a global health concern. However, the advent of recombinant DNA technology provided a breakthrough. Scientists were able to isolate a specific protein from the hepatitis B virus and genetically engineer yeast cells to produce this protein in large quantities. This protein, when injected into the body, mimics a hepatitis B infection, stimulating an immune response without causing the disease. This vaccine was the first of its kind, marking a revolutionary moment in the history of vaccine development. It demonstrated the potential of using biotechnology to combat infectious diseases, opening up a whole new avenue for the creation of safe and effective vaccines. Moreover, the utilization of biotechnology in vaccine development is not just limited to recombinant DNA technology. Techniques like gene editing, nanotechnology and bioinformatics are being harnessed to create more targeted and efficient vaccines. These advancements are helping us tackle diseases that were once deemed untreatable, changing the landscape of global health. The journey of vaccine development, from its humble beginnings to the cutting edge science of today, is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The integration of biotechnology into this journey has accelerated the pace of progress, enabling us to respond rapidly to emerging health threats. Biotechnology has indeed pushed the boundaries of what's possible in vaccine development. It has unlocked new possibilities, taking us closer to a world where no disease is beyond our reach. Despite their numerous benefits, vaccines have had their fair share of controversy. Our journey brings us to a point where science and skepticism intertwine, casting a shadow of doubt over a field that has saved countless lives. Perhaps the most notorious controversy is the discredited claim linking vaccines to autism. This theory originated in the late 90s when a study now retracted suggested a connection between the measles, mumps and rubella vaccine and the onset of autism. Despite numerous subsequent studies debunking this theory, the damage was done. The seeds of doubt were sown and they continue to flourish in the minds of some, fueling vaccine hesitancy. Vaccine hesitancy, the reluctance or refusal to vaccinate despite the availability of vaccines, is a complex issue. It's influenced by factors such as complacency, convenience and confidence. While it's easy to dismiss these individuals as simply misinformed, it's crucial to remember that their fears are often rooted in a lack of trust in the system, a system that they believe has failed them in the past. This hesitancy has real-world consequences. Outbreaks of vaccine-preventable diseases can and do still happen. The re-emergence of measles in parts of the world where it was once eradicated is a stark reminder of the power of collective immunity and the dangers when it's compromised. It's not all doom and gloom, however. While the controversies are many and the challenges daunting, the scientific consensus on vaccine safety remains unwavering. Vaccines undergo rigorous testing and monitoring to ensure their efficacy and safety. 
the World Health Organization, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and countless other health organizations around the globe continue to advocate for vaccination, armed with a wealth of scientific evidence. Despite their numerous benefits, vaccines have had their fair share of controversy. But let us not forget the lives saved, the diseases eradicated, and the suffering prevented by these remarkable tools of modern medicine. While the controversies are numerous, the scientific consensus on vaccine safety remains strong. Vaccines have another impressive capability, preventing certain types of cancer. Yes, you heard it right. Vaccines, traditionally associated with preventing infectious diseases, have a significant role to play in the battle against cancer too. Let's take a moment to appreciate the marvel of the human papillomavirus, or HPV, vaccine. HPV is a group of viruses that includes more than a hundred different strains, some of which are known to cause various types of cancer. The HPV vaccine, developed in the early part of this century, targets the most dangerous types of this virus. Now, why is this important? Well, HPV is associated with a significant proportion of cervical, anal, oropharyngeal, vaginal, vulva, and penile cancers. A vaccine that can prevent HPV infection, therefore, has the potential to prevent these cancers. This is a profound shift in our approach to cancer prevention, moving from detection and treatment to actual prevention. The success of the HPV vaccine has opened up new avenues for research into other preventive vaccines against cancer. Hepatitis B and C viruses, for instance, are known to cause liver cancer. The hepatitis B vaccine, then, is not just preventing a liver infection, but potentially a cancer, too. As we venture deeper into the 21st century, the line between infectious diseases and cancer is starting to blur. Viruses like Epstein-Barr, human T-cell lymphotropic, and Kaposi's sarcoma-associated herpes virus all have been linked to various forms of cancer. The development of vaccines against these viruses could significantly reduce the incidence of these cancers in the future. The potential of vaccines in cancer prevention is immense. By targeting the infectious agents that cause these cancers, we can stop them before they even start. This is the power of preventive medicine, the ability to nip the problem in the bud, to stop cancer before it can even take root. Vaccines, therefore, hold promise not just in preventing infectious diseases, but also in combating cancer. They represent a beacon of hope in our ongoing struggle against this formidable disease, lighting the way towards a future where cancer is not a death sentence, but a preventable condition. As we look to the future, the field of vaccines holds immense potential. The horizon is awash with promise, and the dawn of personalized vaccines beckons us. Imagine a world where vaccines are tailored to your unique genetic makeup, offering protection with unprecedented precision. No longer a one-size-fits-all, but a bespoke shield against disease. In addition, the ceaseless pursuit of knowledge teases the possibility of vaccines for diseases currently without a cure. Imagine the eradication of the spectre that is Alzheimer's, or the triumph over the elusive HIV. The realm of the impossible is being encroached upon by the march of scientific progress. And let's not forget the potential for vaccines in the fight against antibiotic resistance, a looming crisis of our time. Vaccines could offer a path to stave off this threat, a beacon of hope in an otherwise bleak landscape. The journey of vaccines is far from over. In fact, it's just getting started. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to SciSips for more insights into the world of science and technology. Until next time, remember, the future of healthcare is here and it's exciting. The mighty often fall harder than the rest. So was the case with Napoleon Bonaparte, a name synonymous with grandeur, power, and a dash of audacious ambition. His rise, akin to a blazing comet illuminating the skies of France, was as remarkable as his descent, a plummet from the zenith of power into the abyss of exile. His reign, a spectacle of triumphs and tribulations, painted a vivid tableau of a man and a nation. Yet the tale of Napoleon is not one of mere downfall, but of rise, reign and ruin. Born in Corsica, 1769, Napoleon was not a child of privilege. He was born to a family of minor nobility, far from the opulence of the French court. His family's limited means, however, 
did not deter the young Napoleon from dreaming big. The spark of ambition was ignited early, and it burned brilliantly throughout his life. His keen intellect landed him a scholarship at the prestigious Brienne Military School in France. There he was an outsider, mocked for his accent and his modest background. But young Napoleon was not deterred. Instead, he immersed himself in his studies, devouring books on history and strategy. It was here that the foundations of the military genius were laid. At just 16, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the French army. His rise through the ranks was meteoric. By 24, Napoleon was a brigadier general, demonstrating an uncanny ability to strategize and lead, even in the most dire of circumstances. His audacity and military prowess caught the attention of France's leaders, catapulting him to the forefront of the French Revolution. By the time he was 30, Napoleon was the undisputed leader of France, commanding the respect and fear of both his countrymen and his enemies. His rise to power was nothing short of extraordinary. A spark of a legend had turned into a roaring flame. But power often comes at a great cost, and for Napoleon, it was no different. Before we dive deeper into Napoleon's fascinating story, let's take a moment to appreciate the scientific nature of history. Just as scientists analyze data and form hypotheses, Historians meticulously examine evidence, scrutinize sources, and construct narratives based on verifiable facts. By understanding the past, we gain valuable insights into human behavior, societal patterns, and the forces that shape our world. Remember, history isn't just about dusty textbooks and dates. It's a vibrant, exciting field that offers endless opportunities for learning and discovery. If you're enjoying this exploration of Napoleon's legacy, Hit that like button and subscribe to SciSips. With your support, we can continue to unravel the mysteries of time and make history come alive for everyone. In the aftermath of the French Revolution, the nation was in turmoil. The old order had been dismantled and the country was hungry for stability. Napoleon, with his military victories and charismatic leadership, was seen as a beacon of hope. He capitalized on this sentiment, orchestrating a coup in 1899 that ousted the ruling directory and established a new government, the consulate, with himself as first consul. From there, Napoleon's rise was swift. Within just four years, the Senate declared him Emperor of the French. His coronation in 1804 was a lavish affair, symbolizing a new era of French power. Napoleon himself placed the imperial crown on his head, a bold move that signified his absolute authority. As Emperor, Napoleon initiated widespread reforms, modernizing the country's infrastructure and legal system. He was a shrewd leader, one who understood the importance of public image. He cultivated a persona of a modern Caesar, a man of the people, and a champion of the French Revolution's ideals. These early years of Napoleon's reign were marked by significant victories and expansion of the French Empire. He was at the height of his power, seemingly invincible. Yet as history would show, no empire, no matter how grand, is immune to downfall. However, even as Napoleon's star ascended, the seeds of his downfall were being sown. His aggressive expansionism, his disregard for the balance of power in Europe, and his overconfidence would eventually lead to his undoing. But that's a story for the next scene. For now, let's bask in the glory and grandeur of Napoleon's rise, a testament to the power of ambition and the allure of absolute power. Napoleon's reign, despite its brilliance, was marred by critical mistakes. Let's delve into these missteps that, while seeming insignificant at first, would ultimately prove to be the architect of his downfall. The first mistake was the implementation of the continental system, an ambitious endeavor intended to cripple Britain's economy by blockading European ports to British goods. However, this strategy backfired, intensifying economic hardships across Europe and stoking resentment against Napoleon's rule. Next, we have the Peninsular War. Napoleon's decision to invade Spain and Portugal to enforce the continental system led to a protracted and costly conflict. The war drained French resources and morale, and it ignited the flame of nationalism across Europe. Third on the list is the infamous invasion of Russia. Napoleon, in his hubris, underestimated the harsh Russian winter and the resilience of the Russian people. The Grand Army marched into Russia with over half a million soldiers, but only a fraction returned. This catastrophic loss marked a turning point in Napoleon's fortunes. The fourth mistake was Napoleon's failure to establish a stable succession. Despite having a son, Napoleon II, 
His ill health and young age made him an unsuitable heir. This lack of a reliable successor left a power vacuum upon Napoleon's abdication, leading to political instability. Lastly, Napoleon's inability to maintain alliances proved detrimental. His aggressive expansion and disregard for the sovereignty of other nations led to the formation of coalitions against him. These alliances, including the Seventh Coalition that defeated him at Waterloo, were instrumental in his downfall. These missteps were not just errors in judgment, but profound miscalculations that revealed a lack of foresight and understanding of the geopolitical landscape. The continental system disregarded the resilience of the British economy and the repercussions of economic hardship on European sentiment. The Peninsular War underestimated the power of nationalism, a force that would rise again and again in opposition to Napoleon's rule. The invasion of Russia was a testament to the dangers of overconfidence and the unforgiving nature of war. The failure to establish a stable succession revealed a lack of planning for the future, a critical oversight for any leader. And the inability to maintain alliances was a reflection of Napoleon's aggressive expansionist policies, which, while successful in the short term, engendered long-term opposition and resistance. These mistakes, grand in their consequence, paved the road to Napoleon's downfall. They serve as a stark reminder that even the most powerful can fall, that hubris can blind, and that the repercussions of one's actions can echo through history. Napoleon's downfall was as epic as his rise. A narrative woven with threads of ambition and power spun into a tale of a man who soared too high, only to crash and burn. Napoleon Bonaparte, once the Emperor of the French, found himself exiled to the remote island of St. Helena in the South Atlantic, a far cry from the grandeur of his former reign. His once mighty empire lay in ruins, the result of a series of miscalculations and blunders that irrevocably altered the course of his rule. The echoes of his once resounding power gradually faded into the annals of history. The man who once held Europe in his grasp died a lonely death, far from the land he loved, far from the power he craved. In the aftermath of Napoleon's rule, France and Europe were left grappling with the repercussions of his ambitious yet flawed leadership. The political landscape of Europe underwent a seismic shift. France, once the dominant power was left to lick its wounds, its glory days buried under the rubble of Napoleon's fallen empire. Yet, Napoleon's legacy was not entirely one of ruin. The Napoleonic Code, a cornerstone of modern civil law, stands as a testament to his rule. His influence on military strategy and tactics is still acknowledged and studied in military academies across the globe. His impact on French imperialism and popular culture remains significant, even as the dust of his fallen empire has long since settled. Napoleon's tale is a cautionary one, a stark reminder of the perils of unchecked ambition and the fragile nature of power. His story serves as a mirror reflecting the human propensity for hubris and the inevitable consequences that follow. Napoleon's fall from grace was a tale of hubris, power, and the inevitable consequences of unchecked ambition. His legacy, a complex tapestry of triumph and tragedy, continues to fascinate, instruct, and caution us, even as the echoes of his rule slowly fade into the corridors of time. Despite his downfall, Napoleon's influence on popular culture and French imperialism remains undeniable. His actions, bold and audacious, have left an indelible imprint on the canvas of world history, shaping the course of nations and the lives of millions. His military strategies continue to be taught in academies worldwide, testifying to his genius. In popular culture, Napoleon is seen as a symbol of ambition, power and resilience. His life story inspiring countless novels, films and artworks. His impact reaches beyond France, influencing the development of nationalism and the concept of the nation-state around the world. In the words of Napoleon himself, from the heights of these pyramids, 40 centuries look down on us. And so we too look back on the era of Napoleon, a time when France stood tall as a global superpower. We hope you enjoyed this journey through history. Hit that like button and subscribe to SciSips. This channel is dedicated to uncovering the science hidden within history, revealing fascinating connections between the past and present. With your support, we can continue to unravel the mysteries of time and make history come alive for everyone.
Have you ever pondered the enigmatic nature of chemical reactions and the invisible, intricate quantum mechanical principles that govern them? This question takes us to the fascinating intersection of two seemingly disparate worlds, quantum mechanics and chemistry. The realm of the tiny and subatomic collides with the world of reactions and compounds, revealing a tapestry of phenomena that are as strange as they are fascinating. Chemical reactions, traditionally understood through the lens of classical physics, are also subject to the somewhat bizarre and counterintuitive rules of quantum mechanics. Today, we're going to delve into how quantum phenomena, specifically quantum tunneling and superposition, play pivotal roles in chemical reactions. From the tunneling of particles through energy barriers to the existence of reactants in a superposition of states, these quantum effects challenge our classical understanding and offer a fresh perspective on the dynamics of chemical reactions. So, prepare to dive into the quantum realm and witness how it can transform our understanding of chemical reactions. Imagine a particle, seemingly trapped, suddenly appearing on the other side of a barrier. This is not science fiction, but quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling is an intriguing phenomenon that defies the rules of classical physics. Traditionally, we understand that for a chemical reaction to occur, reactants must possess enough energy to overcome an activation energy barrier. But quantum tunneling laughs in the face of this rule. It allows particles to leak through these energy barriers, even when their energy isn't sufficient to overcome them in the classical sense. How does this happen? Well, in the quantum realm, particles can behave like waves. As a wave, a particle can extend across the energy barrier. Even though the wave diminishes rapidly as it enters the barrier, there's a non-zero chance that a part of it will make it to the other side. This is quantum tunneling, a wave-like motion that enables particles to effectively teleport through energy barriers. Now, this is not just a theoretical concept. Quantum tunneling has real-world implications and is observable in various chemical reactions. For instance, consider enzymatic hydrogen transfer reactions. In these reactions, the hydrogen proton, instead of climbing over the enzyme barrier, takes a shortcut. It tunnels through the barrier, leading to faster and more efficient reactions at physiological temperatures. Another example can be seen in the depletion of the ozone layer in the upper atmosphere. Chlorine atoms, facilitated by quantum tunneling, can leak through the energy barrier of the CFC ozone reaction, contributing significantly to ozone depletion. These examples illustrate how quantum tunneling can enhance reaction rates by lowering the effective activation energy. It's a game changer, rewriting the rules of how we understand chemical reactions. Quantum tunneling, an enigma of the quantum world, thus drastically alters our understanding of chemical reactions. This fascinating phenomenon, born from the world of quantum physics, not only challenges our classical understanding of chemical reactions, but also opens up new fields of exploration in the realm of chemistry. So, next time you think about chemical reactions, remember it's not just about overcoming barriers but also about tunneling through them. What if the reactants could explore all possible reaction pathways simultaneously? Welcome to the world of superposition. In the realm of quantum mechanics, superposition is a fundamental principle. It's a peculiar concept that allows particles to exist in multiple states at the same time until observed or measured. Now consider applying this principle to chemical reactions. Before a reaction takes place, reactants can exist in a superposition of multiple quantum states simultaneously. This means they can sample all potential pathways a reaction could take, all at once. Imagine a busy city intersection with numerous roads leading in different directions. Instead of being confined to one path, a car, or in our case a reactant, can travel down all roads simultaneously. This remarkable ability is what we refer to as quantum coherence. It's like having your cake and eating it too, but in the quantum world. Let's delve into a real-world example. Photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert sunlight into energy. In the initial steps of photosynthesis, light excitation creates a superposition state in the reaction center. This allows for efficient and rapid electron transfer between pigment molecules. It's a bit like the plant exploring all possible routes to convert sunlight into energy simultaneously choosing the most efficient path in a blink of an eye. But the implications of superposition in chemical reactions don't stop there. There's a fascinating potential application for this quantum effect, controlling reaction selectivity. By manipulating the superposition state of reactants, scientists may be able to direct reactions along specific pathways. This could lead to the development of novel and highly selective catalysts, 
revolutionizing the field of catalysis. So, what's the takeaway? Superposition allows reactants to explore various reaction pathways simultaneously, potentially choosing the most efficient route. It's a concept that challenges our classical understanding of reactions, opening new doors for exploration and innovation in chemistry. Superposition, another quantum marvel, introduces a new dimension to our perception of chemical reactions. The influence of quantum mechanics in chemical reactions is not an isolated phenomenon, but permeates various fields of study. Diving into the depths of atmospheric chemistry, we find that quantum tunneling plays a pivotal role. It's not just about the depletion of the ozone layer by chlorine atoms tunneling through energy barriers, it's about the formation of air pollutants too. These quantum effects, though invisible to the naked eye, impact the very air we breathe. Let's turn our attention to the microscopic world of enzymes. These biological catalysts responsible for accelerating chemical reactions within our bodies owe their efficiency and selectivity to quantum effects. The proton, for example, can tunnel through the enzyme barrier in hydrogen transfer reactions leading to faster and more efficient reactions at physiological temperatures. This tunneling phenomenon contributes significantly to the intricate dance of life's vital processes. Then there's the realm of material science, where understanding quantum mechanical effects in chemical reactions is a prerequisite for progress. By grasping how particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously or how they can tunnel through barriers, we can design new materials with desired properties. Imagine a future where materials are not just created by chance or trial and error, but designed with precision, thanks to our understanding of quantum superposition and tunneling. But it's not just about material science, atmospheric chemistry, or enzyme function. It's about every process in which atoms and molecules interact. From the photosynthesis in plants to the reactions in a car's engine, from the formation of stars in distant galaxies to the very origins of life on Earth, quantum effects are at play. We're standing on the precipice of a new era where the strange and counterintuitive rules of the quantum world are being harnessed to reshape our understanding of the chemical universe. Thus, the quantum world with its tunneling and superposition profoundly reshapes our understanding of the chemical universe. Imagine for a moment a colossal asteroid hurtling through the infinite expanse of space on a direct collision course with our beloved blue planet Earth. What could we as a species possibly do to prevent such a catastrophic event? The answer may lie in the very technology we once feared could end our civilization, nuclear weapons. Hollywood has often portrayed the scenario of a nuclear explosion on an asteroid. Films like Armageddon and Deep Impact have captured the imaginations of millions with their dramatic depictions of humanity's last-ditch efforts to save our planet. But how accurately do these cinematic portrayals match up with the scientific possibilities? In reality, the idea of using nuclear devices to deflect or even disrupt an incoming asteroid isn't as far-fetched as it might seem. Recent advances in simulation technology have allowed scientists at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory to model the effects of a nuclear blast on an asteroid surface. This technology, known as the X-ray Energy Deposition Model, provides vital insights into how the radiation from a nuclear explosion interacts with an asteroid. It allows researchers to understand how the shockwave dynamics might affect the asteroid's interior and offers a potential method of asteroid deflection known as nuclear ablation. It's important to note that nuclear devices possess the highest energy density per unit of mass, making them a potentially effective tool in mitigating asteroid threats. However, accurate simulations of the X-ray energy deposition and material ablation are crucial in predicting the effectiveness of a nuclear deflection or disruption mission. Contrary to popular movie depictions, the goal isn't necessarily to obliterate the asteroid into smithereens. Instead, the objective is to alter its trajectory just enough to make it miss Earth. This approach minimizes the risk of the asteroid breaking into multiple pieces, which could still pose a significant threat. The threat of an asteroid impact is not just a matter of science fiction. It's a very real, albeit rare, possibility that scientists and policymakers must prepare for. Understanding the potential of nuclear explosions to deflect asteroids is an essential part of this preparation. 
In summary, while the cinematic portrayals of nuclear explosions on asteroids make for gripping entertainment, they often oversimplify the scientific realities. The real-life application of nuclear technology to asteroid deflection is a complex process that requires precise simulations and careful planning. It's crucial to remember that the threat of an asteroid impact, while remote, is real. The same nuclear technology that once symbolized our capacity for self-destruction could, ironically, be our planet's saving grace. As we continue to explore the cosmos and understand the threats it may pose, we must also develop and refine the tools necessary to protect our home, the Earth. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to SciSips. Till next time, have an explosively good time and do check out the other videos on our channel. Thank you.